DJ TV. Jonathan will become irrelevant like Adams or Shomole if he should contest under the All Progressive Congress. PDP says this is still DJM TV Daily News update. The governor of Sokoto State, Governor Aminu Tambua, who is also the chairman of the PDP Governors Forum, has said that should S President Goodluck Jonathan decide to contest under the All Progressive Congress, he will become irrelevant just like Adams Oshomole and Eze Oyamu of Edo State. The chairman of the People's Democratic Party Governors Forum, Governor Aminu Tambuwa of Sokoto State, said this when he was speaking about the speculation that ex-president Goodluck Ebele Jonathan may leave the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress. He said that should the former president of Nigeria be nominated, as the candidate of the ruling party, a lot of things will go wrong. While speaking in an interview, Alaji Aminu Tambuwa of Sokoto State said that as the chairman of the People's Democratic Party Governors Forum who aided the just concluded party convention, he was very grateful to God for a successful convention and he said he would like to thank all the party leaders and party members and all delegates who were present at the convention for the way and manner in which they conducted themselves. He said there were a lot of permutations, analysis and projections that the PDP convention was going to be mad in view of pendency of court matters and also in the view of the fact that there were some measures of disagreement within the party. But they were able to manage the situation and conduct a free, fair and transparent convention. He also said that during the convention, he said it was a difficult thing to manage the People's Democratic Party, but admitted that although there were some issues, they had really done a lot of background work to ensure that the party gets to where it is at the moment. He also said that concerning uh, Ushe Secondus, the suspended party chairman of the People's Democratic Party, he said the matter was still in court and he wouldn't want to dev into the matters before the court of law makes its final decision. He said, although the National Working Committee set up by Prince Ushe Sekondus remains in place until they are dissolved, which will be done by the new stream of executive who we are elected at the just concluded PDP National Convention, which held in Abuja. He said that although there were speculations that the People's Democratic Party has not been playing its role as the opposition party very well, but that they were doing everything within their power to wrestle power away from the All Progressive Congress. He said, I don't think there is any political party that has produced a professor as a woman leader and also the youngest youth leader in the history of the country since Nigeria returned to democracy. Speaking on the 25-year-old youth leader of the People's Democratic Party, he said, you can see that the People's Democratic Party is adopting some strategies of doing things very differently and responding to the yearnings of the electorate, especially that of the people. Speaking about his exit from the All Progressive Congress, he said that when his colleagues came to see him to talk about why he left the party, he told them that he was not convinced about how the government was being run, particularly around the issues of the level of insecurity in the country, the economy and the fight against corruption. And that he made it clear that it was nothing personal, but he just wanted a government that will walk away. He said, we fought against PDP in 2018, and I had nothing against the then president, good luck, Ebele Jonathan. I had nothing against the People's Democratic Party, and I don't feel anything wrong if I go back to the PDP because it's nothing personal. I just don't like the way the country was being run, 
at the first term by the All Progressive Congress Governors. This is still DJM TV Daily News Update. While speaking on the issue of the speculation that ex-president Goodluck Ibele Jonathan is likely to make his way out of the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressive Congress, Alaji Aminu Tambua says that it is rumor, but himself he has not confirmed. He also said there was a time there was a rumor that he was going back to the APC, but it was just a rumor. I have had cause to do interview with Voice of Nigeria Alsa, where a similar question was asked by the reporter on the possibility of President Jonathan going to the APC. We advise that he should not even contemplate it. Otherwise, how are they going to market him? His situation would be like that of my senior brother, Adams Oshomale and Eze Iyamu. Aminu Tambuwa said, you know that in Edo during the last governorship election, it was more of what Adams himself had said against his own candidate, Eze Iyamu, which became campaign issues. People will just assume what President Buhari, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and the rest of the APC stalwart had said about Jonathan. That I can guarantee is what we in the PDP will also do. So I advise President Goodluck Jonathan, if he has any aspiration, he should possibly consider it in the People's Democratic Party rather than leaving to join the APC. This is still DJM TV Daily News Update. Amin Tambuwa said that he was not going to convince ex-president Gulak Ebele Jonathan to take his presidential ambitions to another party rather than the People's Democratic Party. In his words, he said, left to me, I feel like some of my colleagues in the APC should come back to the PDP for us to work together to make things happen. I have said it before, the power belongs to God and he alone it is that gives power to anyone at every appointed time. Adding that, as a believer, I know if it is my destiny to become the president of Nigeria, I will. President Jonathan and the People's Democratic Party will not alter or change God's plan. That is my conviction. I would rather have him in the People's Democratic Party because I know that he has value to add. While speaking on whether he intends to run for presidency again, Aminu Tambuwa said, you know that this period we have been working to reposition the party. Without a party platform together and stabilized, what is ambition? You have to have a platform before you can talk about ambition. Now that we have almost done all the congresses and conventions, I will come back to you after consulting in a matter of a few weeks or few months. I have tried it before in 2014 and after consultation, I decided not to run. In 2018 also, after consultation with a number of stakeholders, I threw my heart into the race. I will commence my consultation extensively now and make it public later. These were the words of Alaji Aminu Tambuwa, the governor of Sokoto State. And you're still watching DJM TV Daily News Update. So there you have it guys, the governor of Sokoto State and the chairman of the People's Democratic Party Governors Forum has advised ex-president Goodluck Ebele Jonathan to forget about contesting in the All Progressive Congress because in his words he said uh, the campaign strategy used against him by the All Progressive Congress in 2015 will be resurrected by lots of Nigerians and it will be used against him just like it happened in a Doe state where Adams Oshomale had earlier said that the people of Edo State should not vote for Eze Yamu. But because Eze Yamu came back to the All Progressive Congress, Adams Oshomale came out again to say Eze Yamu was the best candidate for the people of Edo State. So Aminu Tambu has advised a been a good luck Jonathan to forget about contesting but if he must contest for presidency come 2023 and should he decide that he wants to take another shot at presidency then Aminu Tambu has advised that he does it on the platform of the People's Democratic Party. So guys there you have it. What are your thoughts and comments concerning the comments made by Aminu Tambuwa, the governor of Sokoto State? Drop your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for staying with us till the very end of this video. Do not forget to go a step further if you've not done so. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Also, do not forget to like and share this video. Do follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also check out our website at www.djmtv.news. Guess what, guys? From the 1st of August 2021, 
DGM TV offers you an opportunity to report your event from where you are on our channel. We call it Report Yourself to the World. You want to be a part of this great program? Then please click on our bow, send us a message, and we'll give you details on how to report yourself to the world. They are coming away again with another exciting edition of DJM TV Daily News Update. I remain your host, Lawuru Faith.